Today, I'm gonna show you some hidden tricks and tips that you might not have heard of. So after watching this video, you'll be able to work faster, more efficient, and save a lot of time. And I'm also really curious, what is your favorite hack or shortcut in FL Studio? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Let's begin with the playlist. I have a few tricks up my sleeve that I really want to share with you. So pay good attention, write it down because you don't want to miss this out. Let's go. Let's say you're working in a buildup and you want to select this part and render it out really quick. Control Alt C, press start. And when it does, obviously it will render out everything. But on top of that, everything else that you just selected gets muted. If you want to unmute it, double right click on the mouse, hover above it and everything is unmuted. So this is a very easy way to export in the highlighted selection and move on and make easy changes to it. Number two, and that is quantizing. Quantizing works really well for the piano roll, but did you know it works really well for the playlist too? What it means is whenever your samples are literally all over the place like this, they cross the line a little bit and you want to put them back in place. Instead of manually putting this, 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 you select whatever is messed up, select it, shift Q. Now the next one is truly a lifesaver. It's the middle mouse button click. Let me show you. The middle mouse button is the best tool there is in my opinion. Let's say you're working in the kick builder and you just want to replace the punch. Instead of click and dragging everything left and right, middle mouse button, boom, 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 boom. So easy, super efficient. Number four, arrangements. It's very convenient. Let's say you're working in a kick builder and you want to make different kick builders within the kick builder. So what you do, instead of making a new project every time or copy pasting it left, right, doesn't make any sense. You go over here and then you make a new arrangement. Let's say this is my bloodless kick. This is my own kick. See, these are all kick builders within the kick builder. So you can literally make mini projects within your own project in the playlist. Very convenient. Make sure to make everything unique because everything you're cloning within the next arrangement, if you change something, it will change in the other arrangement too. Number five, make it fancy. The way you do that is selecting everything with the right mouse button. You press F2 and over here you see two gradient colors. Let's do a blue one and a green one. Boom, very fancy. All right, let's move on to the mixer channel. And by moving to the mixer channel, I immediately see something that might be useful too. And that is if you want to close all these screens and save your CPU some workload, press F12. Everything is gone. Moving on to number one, and that is selecting by holding control. And now you can select multiple mixer states. And what you can do now is you can move them around, press Alt to the right or Alt to the left on your keyboard. It's very convenient when everything is a little bit too loud. You just select everything, turn the faders up or put them down. This will change the order of your plugins. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. So whatever you do, you can change the order, it's, which is very important in music production, the order of the plugins. This is first, second, third, et cetera, et cetera. So now you just have to scroll, very easy. Let's say you're working in a kick builder and you wanna see the equalizer. Every time you play it, the equalizer disappears, right? That's annoying. So what you do over here, you click here, press detached. Now, whatever you do here, it will never go away. It will not disappear. Say you made a kick-ass FX chain, right? And you wanna save it, but you also wanna use it on a different channel. So you can save it, right-click, save. Yes, you can do that, but there's an easier way. File, save, and instead of saving, you click and drag, hold it right here, boom now it's displayed here all right let's move on to the channel rack and that is to create layers instead of putting your melody in twenty thousand different layers like here you're gonna go to insert go to layer and over here you have two options show and set children what you want to do is put it on the side because this window will disappear it makes it really annoying and then right click the amount of leads you have and then put them on set children now you can just remove all the melodies I put them in one layer and that's good for all of them. That is to move certain instruments or VSTs or audio clips. What you do, right click, just like in the mixer channel, right click them, select them and move them alt up or down. And that is following along with number two. And that is to group your tracks, alt G leads, boom. Now, 
everything is sorted in leads. And you can find it up here on leads. And you can do this with everything, kicks, percussion, you name it. Instead of adding the plugins manually here or right click it, insert or replace, what you do is you press F8 and you type in the plugin that you need. For example, silent, boom, you click on it and there you have it. That's especially very convenient if you have a lot of plugins. All right, now let's go to the piano roll. And that is my absolute favorite one. Since the new update from FL Studio, I love it. So you're gonna load up your preset, whatever, lead, you name it. You go to the piano roll, you press Alt P. Now this opens up the chord generator. And this is a very convenient tool if you're not really good with creating melodies and you just need a little bit of help. So you could just press generate and it's now on an A major scale. <laughs> And every time you press generate, something else pops up. You can change the skills, you name it. And if you want, you can check out the in-depth tutorial I did about the chord generator tool. And that is, if you want to see your notes on the keyboard, and I'm not sure why they didn't do that immediately, you go to here, then you go to view, then all the way down, you go to key labels, press all notes. Now you can see all the keys here. Three, and I'm also not sure why that's not a default setting, but if you want to resize your notes, from the left, go to here, go to edit, and make sure this one is turned on. Number four, and that is when you're struggling with chords. So what you wanna do, over here you see the snap to skill. You wanna right click this. You have a choice by either going a major skill or a minor skill. Now let's say you're working in a major skill on F. So what it now does, if this is right clicked, make sure that this is on. Everything will be according to the F major skill. So through this way, it's easier for you to follow the correct way of the chord progression, and it's way easier to create new melodies. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And I'm really curious, what is your favorite trick or tip in FL Studio that you can share with everyone? And if you liked today's video, make sure to drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next Thursday.